What is up, Fit Pros? Andy here from fitprobusiness.com. Hope everybody is doing well. Hey, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel as I will be delivering, delivering weekly value to you in regards to generating leads for your personal training business or fitness business, closing more sales, a sales process, as well as just general bu business building tips and what I'm using right now as a 13-year veteran in the fitness industry to currently build my business and create systems for my business as well as what I'm learning from industry leaders. So please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope everybody is doing well. Today what I want to talk about is the importance of having a sales system and why you need one within your business and how it's not okay to just wing your consultations or wing uh, things within your business if you want to grow. So today I'm going to dive into uh, what is a sales system and how to improve your sales. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. All right, should be able to see my screen here. Let me move myself down here to the bottom out of the way. So, okay, so what is a sales system? So a sales system is, a, is designed to produce quality leads for your business, book appointments, and close sales. That is it. That is all that a sales system is. And you should have a lot of these things in place, but what we're going to talk about today is this is just a general breakdown of what a sales system is, but we're going to talk about the mindset geared around sales to be successful. So how do you develop a sales system? Well, it all starts with a mind shift change. So a lot of times what happens is in regards to selling, we have a negative connotation geared around sales that ends up affecting our business. So what, what, the key things that come to mind when somebody first says a sales, salesman is a sleazy, pushy car salesman, somebody that's arm twisting, um, that has, is going to coerce somebody to make a bad decision. And ultimately, if you want to improve your sales with your personal training business, you have to kick this mindset out. You have to believe that selling equals service, which is step two. So first is a mindset shift to go away from what a negative connotation geared around sales to improve your sales within your business. And it is a mindset shift to selling equals service. So when you sell, sell from honesty, integrity, and compassion. It's not about a heart sell. It's about a heart sell. So it's not about a hard sell. It's about a heart sell. And this is something that I learned from one of my mentors, Eric Lawholm. And it is so key to changing the way that you view sales. And if you really look at selling your service as it, it equaling um, selling your service, selling equals service, excuse me, that if you shift your mindset to that, that it is a service that you're providing somebody, then that is ultimately going to improve your sales. So selling is, a, is just about leading someone to make a, a decision, moving somebody to take action. If you are selling a service that you are proud of and that enhances people's lives, which I know that you are, then you have an obligation to promote the sale and your service. So basically what this means is when you have a consultation in front of you, when you get a phone call lead, you get an email lead, you book them for a consultation. When you have them before you, you take them through either a training session or just a face-to-face -face consultation. And you, all that asking for the sale is, is a natural progression of a well-delivered consultation or presentation. That's all it is. You're leading somebody to take action, whether that's a yes or a no, preferably a yes. So selling is about leading. That's all that it is. And remember, selling equals service. And if you can make that mindset shift, then you're automatically going to enhance your business and enhance your sales. So that's how important having the right mindset in regards to sales is. And a lot of times what happens is as trainers, as fitness business owners, we get hung up on that close asking for the sell. And it, again, that is just the natural progression of a well-delivered consultation as well as in order for you to enhance your business, you have to ask for the close. You have to ask them to commit to one of your, your programs. And that's what's going to improve their lives because you're getting them to commit and it's going to improve your business. So you have an obligation to yourself. You have an obligation to your existing clientele. And you have an obligation to your business to um, ask for the sale. So I hope this helps you guys. I'm going to stop sharing my screen with you guys here and dive a little bit deeper into a little bit of the sales conversation with you. All right, so basically what we just covered is what is a sales system? A sales system is designed, like I said, to deliver quality leads, book appointments, and closed sales. That's it. 
And so how do you develop a steady stream of quality leads and book endless appointments? It all starts again with that shift in your mindset. In order to sell your service, you have to be confident in what you're, the service that you're providing and have the mindset of a sales superstar. If you are like most people, like we talked about and believe that sales people are pushy, arm twisting or shysters, then that's going to ultimately um, affect your business and affect your sales. Remember that selling equals service and that when you sell from honesty, integrity and compassion, that it's not about a hard sell, it's about a heart sell. And that again, selling is just about leading people to take action and that ultimately it's your obligation to ask for that close because you know that that's going to enhance your um, prospect's life. And again, it's going to, you have an obligation to yourself, you have an obligation to your business and you have an obligation to your existing clientele. So shift your mindset from a negative connotation geared around sales and that ultimately is going to help you with your sales process. I hope that this helps you guys. Also want to talk about, you know, selling is a learned skill and that there are, granted, there are a lot of us, some of us that are more persuasive than others in regards to sales, but it's something that you can learn and that you can be taught and that it's not okay just to wing it within your presentations, within your consultations. You have to have a step-by-step -step process that you know is going to lead somebody to take action and to close the sale. And basically, the way that I, I've learned this is, is that if you're winging it, then you have no idea what is going to lead the prospect, prospect to make certain decisions. So it's a lot like a comedian when they go on stage they are not winging it when they're on stage they have cues they practice they know exactly how to get a response from the audience and ultimately what that comes down to is people respond in predictable ways and that's why the comedian knows exactly where his hooks are going to fall and where he's going to be able to generate those laughs and that's exactly how it is for you as a personal trainer fitness business owner you have to have your consultation, your presentation, your complimentary training session dialed in where you know what the responses of your prospect is going to be that's going to help lead them to make a buying decision. So I hope that this helps you guys. Some of the ways that I have shift my, shifted my mindset is through positive affirmations. And um, I just wanted to give you guys five of my favorite positive affirmations. And one of the one of the ways that you can shift your mindset, which is ultimately going to help you with your sales, is through repeating these affirmations or your offer affirmation, positive affirmations on a daily basis. So the number one one that I say is I'm a sales champion and that selling is as easy as one, two, three. And the second one is I close with ease and confidence. Prospects are eager to purchase what I have to offer. I am a sales magnet. People are attracted to my positive energy and want to do business with me. I lead prospects to make a buying decision. So anyway, those are my five affirmations that I repeat on a daily basis. I hope that this has delivered value for you guys and that ultimately in order for you to improve yourselves, you have to change your mindset and your idea that you have based around being uh, based around sales and realize that um, you are a sales person. You are selling your service and ultimately you have a responsibility to um, ask for a price that's going to be, um, beneficial for you and as well as provide value for you and your family and your business and also provide more value that to the prospect, the person that you're getting to sign up, you know that you're going to deliver on your promises and that you're going to deliver more value to them than what the, is the price that they're paying for. So, Hey, tune in next week um, as I'll be delivering more information in regards to sales, marketing and business building tips. And it, I, like I said, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Also, if you um, want to get on my calendar, schedule a complimentary 30-minute business breakthrough call if you're feeling stuck within your business or you just need some help getting over the hump. I'll include a link in the show notes as well as I'll include some links to some of the previous videos I did on some of the things that I'm doing in regards to marketing in my business that's helping generate leads for my um, business on a regular basis. And again, these are all systems that I have in place that I know I'm going to predictably pull in leads every month and close a specific amount of sales. And this is what I want for you guys. So that way you, you can have a predictable way to get leads into your business and with a proper sales system can ultimately close more sales and just have general systems in your business that are going to enhance your life, take some weight off of your shoulders and as well as um, make your business just run smoother. So 
Hope this helps. And I will talk to you guys uh, next week and check out those links and schedule that 30 minute uh, business breakthrough call. See you soon. Bye-bye.